the Betfred Handicap Hurdle is next then. This is from Aintree, and for some reason we've got a two and a half mile hurdle here, and just an ordinary 0 to 160 handicap. And for some reason it's attracted 24, 23, 24 runners, which is quite incredible, really. I don't know how many other two and a half mile races there are this week, but for some reason everybody wants to go in this one, and for once I'm not going to attempt to get them all in and talk at a million miles an hour. You can see the runners going through, there they all are. Look at that, 26. 26 runners when he got a 40 race a week. Unbelievable. Anyway, off you go. And House of the Wolf is probably just about the first to show. But now Lavender Blue has gone on. And Lavender Blue is the one that's taken it up from Blooming Good in second. And then cream fields and elevations stop messing around with the Red Baron. Are pretty close to us. Well. So they get to the first of the 12 then. And over it they go. Ingleby Fandango is just about the tail end Charlie at this point. But well, it's Lavender Blue that's taken them along. Leads by battle length to Blooming Good in second. As they get over flight number two. Spread right across the track. Nobody making any attempt to cut into a better position. As they get over flight number three. Lavender Blue is going to gain about, oh goodness knows how many lengths on some of the ones on the outside around this turn. It's a good job they've got the old little police cones up. Good job the pubs are shut, otherwise people would have collected them on the way over the pub in Liverpool and taken them home with them. As they used to back in the 70s and 80s, collect a police cone or you've not been out for the night. Anyway, get over the next, and it's Lavender Blue that lands in the lead. Blooming Good second, and Pedro Aguirre Cheddar is third. Then House of the Wolf and waiting on you. Corrigal is next in elevation. And racing down towards the next flight. In week six of this latest SO7 or SO season, really. Is there a much difference between seven and six? I don't really know. As they get over number five, and then all over that one safely. And Lavender Blue leads by about four to Blooming Good in second. And Pedro Aguirre Churda back in third as they get over number six. Oh, safely over that. That'll be the last of our next circuit. In towards the back, farthest ting. It's still the farthest ting from the front. And the back marker. So, Lavender Blue in front then. Passing the winning post with Blooming Good second. The grey Pedro Aguirre Churda is third. On the inside of that one is House of the Wolf. Elevation is. Probably just about four. Really wide on the track there is um, the Paul Rhodes horse, Parabolic. It's, just, it's really lost a lot of ground on that turn and not giving it much chance at all, really. Anyway, Lavender Blues in front and Blooming Good second. Waited on you's move through into third. Pedro Aguacheda and House and a Wolf. Then the Grand Clutterbuck horses after that one, and then Lixnors after that. Ingleby Fandango's made a bit of ground. They come down towards the next flight. They've got a mile still to go, and Lavender Blue is clear in the lead. Popped over that one nicely, but a better jump by Blooming Good in second. Out of the wall, third. Order pretty much the same. Looking towards the back, Heartburns is there. Been really got into the back spot. Blooming Good made a mistake at that one. The rest of them over it okay. He Little white arrow is now in second as Lavender Blue is in the lead. Oh, the little white arrow's gone. So, anyway, there you go. Lavender Blue's in front. House of the Wolf second, waiting on you third. Then Corrigan and Blooming Good and Pedro Aguirre Cheddar. And McLaren and Elevation. Let's hope for Paul Rhodes' sake that McLaren is named after the Formula One racing car and not the baby's buggy, otherwise, it's got no chance of winning. Anyway, over that one they go. That was number 10. They've only got two more to take. And Lavender Blue is in the lead. Ingleby Fandango is now coming through to make a serious looking challenge for the lead. House of the Wolf is third. And Corrigal fourth. They've only got two to take. And Lavender Blue now being impressed by Ingleby Fandango. Grinder is third. Down towards the final couple of furlongs of the race now. And Lavender Blue and Ingleby Fandango disputing the lead. 
think it'll be Fandango probably took that one just about the best Zip Novell is making a bit of ground so it is Corrigan but it's Ingleby Fandango is in the lead at the final floor Ingleby Fandango skips over it in the lead and goes into the final floor along with a lead of a couple of lengths and it looks like Ingleby Fandango is going to take this one pretty cosily one or two finishing quite nicely but it's going to be Ingleby Fandango that takes it Licks North is probably going to hold on for second in House of the Wolf and Corrigan and Guilty Perfect probably after that one and the field will trail back to Hartburns, who was quite a long way away from the rest of them. Uh, another winner for David Robertson. There you go, an Ingleby Fandango, the winner for David Robertson, Lixnor, Darren Thompson, Heart of the Wolf, or House of the Wolf even for Joshua Sutherland, Corrigal Jim Murray and Guilty Perfect David Hooley. That's John 2345.